I do think we are the only dedicated facility that our main focus is teaching lightsaber combat. It's, it's a real unique setup because inherently we're geeks, right? We love Star Wars, we love science fiction, we love the, the genre, but most of us are martial artists in some form or fashion. We don't want to reinvent the wheel. That's what martial art, if, if a technique has worked and it survived over time, that's what we're applying here. And the guys that choreographed the, the Star Wars films whether it's the original trilogy that was much more the big, huge slashing movements that you saw with some of the more traditional European stuff, or the prequels that are more fan fluid and kind of much more flippy twirly type stuff, it's all rooted in, in actual martial arts in some time in history and some place in the world. People aren't as intimidated seeing a lightsaber because they do picture it as a toy. So they'll pick it up, anyway, pick it up, yeah, I'll hit you with a lightsaber, sure, no problem. Whereas if I give them a long sword, it's like, well, how do I hold this? How do I stand? How do I move? It, it gives a good entry point into the sword arts. But it is fighting with glow sticks, right? And in the end, um, we have to keep it lighthearted because it really is, we're playing with, with light up flashlights with a plastic tube on the end. I, I, I hate saying it like that. But um, the cool thing about it is it's all based in legit martial arts, right? And that's, if it wasn't, if we were just here poking around, cool, we'd have a lot of fun. But we're not learning, we're not developing, we're not taking skills that we can translate to other parts of our life. I hope it really catches on. I hope it becomes something people actually say, yeah, we're, we're doing that. Lightsabers? No, lightsabers, of course, absolutely.